Oh, if your house has issues like mine, get counseling. Joel Waltzman, CEO and Master Electrician of Jefferson Electric. I am going to tell you some of the top DIY electrical mistakes that I see on a day-to-day -day basis. They show up on inspection reports. They show up on city inspections. They show up on our inspections. They're everywhere. They're ubiquitous. If your house is more than 20 years old, I guarantee you, if an electrician spends two to three hours combing through that house, they're gonna find all kinds of code violations. And what is code? Code is centered on fire and safety. What's safety for property and personnel. So if it's a code violation, you're at risk. Some are greater than others, but that's what it boils down to. Right here, I've got three. Uncapped wires. You see, it's so common for people to just some stray wire and they just tuck it back in there and forget about it. Look at that. There's an exposed end. That wire could become energized at some point. You've got to put a wire nut on there and just tuck it back out of the way. Keep it safe. Open knockouts. Check this out right there in this panel. There's a knockout that's wide open. Thankfully, this knockout is barely hanging on. I'm going to ease it back in there. See the panel is a fire rated enclosure and it's got to be fully sealed. There we go, that'll suffice. If you don't have the knockout still intact, you can use what's called a knockout closer. It's just a little snap-in that's that same size and shape. We've got a neutral terminated to the wrong bar. See, this is a sub-panel. Any place after the first means of main electrical disconnect, grounds and neutrals need to be separated. So this right here, that neutral termination is a violation. So I'm gonna slip my number two Robertson in there. After turning off the circuit, I'm gonna unland that neutral and very carefully bring it over here to the neutral bar. Whew. All kinds of issues that can take place in an electrical panel, but those are by all means some of the most common. If a circuit is tripping, the natural inclination is to move that circuit to a larger breaker. From, let's say, a 15 amp to a 20 amp breaker. To upsize it, that's like putting a penny behind your fuse so the fuse will stop blowing. You're bypassing the safety device and 99 times out of 100, that is not gonna be a code compliant solution. See, wire size needs to match up to breaker size, and there's a lot that goes into that, and trying to do it on the fly as a DIYer is taking a substantial risk. All right, so now we're here down in the dungeon. This dungeon is the least attractive place on premises, and what I've got here is evidence that uh, the, the homeowner who used to live here, who self-performed a lot of work, most likely did this as well. It looks like it's probably been here less than 25 years, which is the duration he lived in the home. We've got a receptacle without a cover. We have a receptacle in a practically a wet location without GFCI protection. Two substantial safety hazards. I can't tell you the number of times when there's open electrical like this, I've seen critters or blast marks on the side of a box or some evidence that there's been, some, something's gotten fried at one point or another. I've also, right here above my head, got this non-metallic cable hanging from the ceiling. It's run exposed and it's improperly protected. It's improperly supported and it's not properly terminated. If you don't have a piece of test equipment, you're not gonna know whether this is a live exposed electrical hazard or not. It looks like it's not, thankfully, but that still constitutes a code violation. So, we've got to get down here. Oh man, I'm seeing two more things. We've got improperly supported electrical metallic conduit. Oh, we've got a loose conduit fitting on top, so the ground path is not being made. We've got a loose fitting on the bottom right here. It's not even hand tight, let alone tool tight. I've got to get in here and do a total cleanup. and. There's a sump pump on the floor right in front of the electrical panel and there's a pipe in the way. All of this is wrong.
Oh, uh, if your house has issues like mine, get counseling and then subscribe to Electric Pro Academy for real skills to make real money because we're going to go fix all this.